So regulatory affairs is, um, in my view, everything to do with medicines uh, regulation uh, and the wider industry. Uh, for me, the three cornerstones of regulatory affairs are quality, safety and efficacy. So how pharmaceuticals are made uh, and the benefit-risk balance for um, patients who are going to eventually take these medicines. So it's about um, putting together documentation, following a process uh, and overall drug development and taking drug to market in a regulated manner, hence the word regulatory affairs. Already talking to some of the attendees here, it's clear that people are really curious about regulatory affairs and keen to find out more about what it's about and what kind of uh, skills they would need and how they get into regulatory as a career. So this kind of event is brilliant. And the reason I got into regulatory affairs is I heard somebody talk at that event. It was one talk during the event on regulatory and I thought that's exactly what I want to do. But I think what events such as this helps is obviously get the message out there to a lot more people and it's specific to regulatory. <laughs> The event that TOPRA Senior Management have put together is unparalleled, I would say, in any industry. How they manage to procure the services for these incredible director level industry speakers across the board to give people a real flavour of the different career paths they could take within what's called regulatory affairs is amazing. Quite often I find that not many people when they're starting out their career know that much about regulatory affairs as a possible option um, after their studies so something like this uh, really opens people's eyes to the different avenues that they might have and uh, gives them a bit more information about a, what a career in regulatory affairs uh, actually involves and how they can really get involved. They are always able to answer the question and also to give you different kinds of points of view. Because not every, of course not every company is the same, so if you have uh, multiple answers to the same questions, then you're able to evaluate yourself what the best answer to those kind of questions is. I would say it's helped me kind of figure out what you need to pursue a career in regulatory affairs. Um, so obviously the minimums was, they said, a bachelor's. Um, I didn't know that. Some of the speakers, they mentioned that you don't really need to have experience to get your first um, graduate job, that it's enough to have uh, well, your university experience and, for example, some short summer internship, and that's, that's kind of enough. It was really good having a discussion. So there was members of like the Young Regulatory Professionals group from Topra, and we were able to ask them questions. So it, instead of a talk, it was more of a discussion with them. So I found that really useful, and all the speakers were really approachable and easy to ask questions. I think it's really important just to get um, the kind of industry aware of the jobs that are available in regulatory affairs really so for us it's really nice just to be here talk to candidates who are looking for work um, and just to understand a bit more about the industry ourselves as well. We've hired some really talented individuals, I'm quite pleased to say are really good colleagues and friends and workmates and so in order to do that we need to get out there, brand ourselves, make sure graduates know who we are, what PRA can offer and this is why we decided to attend today. Did you come with the intention to recruit people? Absolutely, yes. Um, hopefully that we'll find the right candidates. The candidates uh, also um, accept that this is a job for them and uh, we'll take it from there. Um, I would advise anyone look in life sciences um, to look for a career in regulatory affairs. Um, it's lucrative, it's, uh, it's satisfying and, and you contribute a lot to the community and, and, and to the world. Yeah.